part four of the news roundup. I think this might be a record for the amount of news that we have on a Monday morning. But there we go. Nigerian military warns about plot to instigate army to overthrow president. The Nigerian Armed Forces High Command says there are plots from different quarters to instigate members of the Army of Nigeria to overthrow the presidential administration led by Tin Ubu. Wow. Well, I, I'm not surprised. I, I wonder if this is more of a kind of threat like please stop working for the French and start working for us, mate, or we'll overthrow you kind of thing. But I don't understand why this man's not listening to them. Seriously, I would be. Niger looks terrifying, you know. Hundreds of trucks are blocked at the Benin-Niger border. These are all filled, filled with aid, food, medicine, things that people need to live. This is what the EU is proud of. This is what white people look like me have stood up on television and said they are proud of happening in the last few days, that this these trucks full of aid are not getting into Niger. Even the truck drivers are saying that, you know, um, the longer that they're made to wait there, the, the more perishable things are going to go, um, the less likely they are to get paid. They are livid. They really want the borders back open. And again, ECOWAS is, is trying to punish people for this coup when it's the punishment of people over many years that have caused this coup in the first place. And it's just not going to work. Take, for example, if ECOWAS said, right, we're going to support you guys, we're going to help your people, and we want to sit down with you and work out a way of getting the president back into power. Um, we'll book a snap election. We'll make sure that you have the ability to look after your own exports, imports. You know, we'll support you, but we'd like to trade with you. That would work. This it's just absolutely barbaric. It's happening in front of us. And you turn on the Western media, no one seems to care. Britain needs to expand ammo production and build more gun barrels, says defence experts. What are they paying these defence experts? Because honestly, I'm more than happy to do that job for half whatever you're paying these absolute fools. We all know this. Yeah, this is very clear. I just... Um, the words British and intelligence have become, it's become an oxymoron, that statement to me. They are incompatible with each other. Uh, here is the Taiwan um, pres uh, vice president's visit to America. And he is a front runner in the presidential elections next year. Why? Like, I don't know what they're paying this guy, but... I hope the people of Taiwan look at Ukraine and realise what they are setting themselves up for. Uh, this is a video that shows a mass looting of a um, of a, a shop in Los Angeles because America is in tatters. In tatters, I tell you. Here we are, British intelligence once again. The Wagner Group is likely to move towards a downsizing and a reconfiguration progress, largely to save on staff salary expenses at a time of financial pressure. Since the abortive mutiny of June 2023, the Russian state has acted against some other business interests of Wagner owner Yevgeny Prigozhin. I really don't think that man's still owning Wagner. There's a realistic possibility that the Kremlin no longer funds the group. This is supposed to be an intelligence update. This is supposed to be things that they know, not things that they guess. It is an, this is an absolute insult to the word intelligence. Seriously. Uh, China floods hit rice corn crops. Uh, floods have damaged corn crops and rice crops in China's key northern grain producing belt with more rain in the forecast as another typhoon approaches. This is um, seriously worrying. I mean, I think every few years we get these kind of very wet winters. Um, but if China's food is lessened, China will buy in more food. So it will affect the whole market. There's already a surge in food prices because we've decided that filling Ukraine with bombs was a really great idea. And that produced quite a lot of food. And now we're bombing Africa, which also produces food. You know, we could probably deal with this sort of disaster if the West stopped bombing things. That's what that's what really hurts me about this. 
we add to this we make this a problem whereas if we stopped bombing people we'd actually be able to like deal with this as a as a worldwide community without much worry actually a uh, voting begins in malaysia as pm faces first major popularity test there's been a lot of um western influence shall we say in the malaysian uh elections so it'd be very interesting to see what the reality is um anwar ibrahim uh he he might be unsurped there might be instability in malaysia which is something the americans are begging for they've been trying to create instability in thailand for a while if you want to hear more about this, I strongly recommend following Brian Balletic, who speaks very, very um, cogently about the situation in Southeast Asia, where he lives with his wife um, and the, the way the Americans try to destabilise it. US trade union fights plans to use Taiwanese workers in Arizona. A US workers union has started an online petition against chip-making giant Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, whose... A $40 billion Phoenix plant faces setbacks. As far as I'm aware, this plant have tried to use local labour, but there is simply not the education and skill level amongst Americans to be able to operate on this level. They need to bring in the Taiwanese so that they can at least train up the Americans to do this. Um, being... In, in, innuitive, being developers, being engineers is not something that has been prioritised by American um, education systems. So here we are. Ukrainians paying up to 10 grand to dodge the draft. Uh, we've all seen Zelensky talk about how he is cracking down on corrupt um, press ganging and all of this sort of stuff. It's all posturing because this stuff is becoming pretty well known now and he's trying to firefight. He knew that this was going on from the offset. He's done nothing about it. Now that it's become international news and everyone is absolutely horrified, he's claiming that he's doing something about it. But the reality is if you're in Ukraine, it doesn't really matter what you've done, you can buy your way out if you have enough money. Uh, Russian gas was a blessing for the German economy. And uh, this is the AFD's leader who is saying that Berlin should start importing energy from Moscow again so that they can survive the winter. Wow. A, a political party in Europe that actually puts their own country above whatever it is that they're, they're pushing. You know, a war in Ukraine, the WEF, like all of these other actors that seem to be above us. Um I, I think it will be a breath of fresh air if the AFD get into power in Germany next year. But it doesn't help with this winter. They need to start buying gas now for their reserves for this winter. Scott Ritter has been banned from YouTube and um, he is angry about it. I mean, he's an angry man, isn't he? He's very angry about it. But what's amazing and... Um, I will, I will be doing a video with Mr Warren soon about cancel culture and talking about how uh, we find it very easy to completely cancel people whose opinion we don't like. But when it comes to actors like the WEF, for example, we don't even get a cho choice. We don't even get a say. They can say and do ridiculously Nazi things and we just allow it because we have no choice. But Scott Ritter, completely gone from, from YouTube completely gone. The Central Bank of Iran has announced that Iran's previously blocked assets in South Korea have been released. Interesting. I wonder why that is. I can imagine South Korea uh, is fighting against its American partners and doing this. But I imagine South Korea also understands that it needs friends right now because America is not a good friend to have. More cancel culture, this time from Facebook, Standard, Seems like Twitter is one of the few places we can still communicate. And again, that is the end of this part. Please move on to chapter four, five, five.